Newton Minow, a Chicago civic leader and the former chairman of the FCC, died today. The cause was a heart attack. He leaves a legacy that goes well beyond his most famous moment, calling television a vast wasteland. Newton Minow was perhaps the most influential FCC chairman in the nation's history. I had a chance to play a role in the development of television, of communication satellites, of public television, enhancing commercial television, and of course the most important thing to me always is my own family. Minow rose to prominence as one of President John F. Kennedy's new frontiersmen, a time he fondly remembered in a 2017 interview with WGN News. It was a time that I, I only wish we could have all over again. In 1961, he was just 35 years old when he delivered a speech at the National Association of Broadcasters Convention in Washington. I invite each of you to sit down in front of your own television set when your station goes on the air and stay there for a day without a book, without a magazine, without a newspaper, without a profit and loss sheet or a rating book to distract you. Keep your eyes glued to that set until the station signs off. I can assure you that what you will observe is a vast wasteland. Those two words, vast wasteland, were a reproach and a challenge to television network executives to better use the most powerful tool of mass communication to educate the public and illuminate the issues. When he was awarded the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016, President Barack Obama said that while the vast wasteland phrase still echoes, it wasn't necessarily the most important part of the speech. The two words Newt prefers we remember from his speech to the nation's broadcasters are these. Public interest. That's been the heartbeat of his life's work. Minow is known as the father of the presidential debate, developing the idea, then serving as chairman of the Commission on Presidential Debates. Television and radio uh, enable the American people to learn more about the candidates than any other means. He was married to his wife Josephine for 72 years. She died last year. Minow described himself as a TV junkie and offered lasting advice about how TV news reporters should approach their jobs. You should be skeptical. You should hold the government accountable, but not be cynical about people's motives or what they are trying to do. Minow served on the boards of CBS and PBS and was also a trustee of the Mayo Clinic and a lifetime trustee of both Northwestern University and the University of Notre Dame.